Hi guys, welcome sa ating panibagong video tutorial. Ngayon, sasagutan natin itong problem using bisection method. And yung problem natin, find the root of the equation f of x equals x cubed minus 4x minus 9. So, makikita natin sa dulo na meron siyang sagot na 2.7065. So, although yung bisection method is can be solved using Microsoft Excel, but for this video, susubukan natin siyang isolve manually para ma-picture out natin yung mga nangyayari in solving bisection method. So, dito ipapakita ko sa inyo step by step kung paano nag-work itong bisection method. So, simulan na natin. So, dito, nag-set ako ng mga values for x. And, as you can see, when x is equal to 0, yung value ng function is negative 9. So, when x is 1, yung function is negative 12. When x is 2, yung function is negative 9. And when x is 3, yung function is positive 6. Nag-stop na ako sa pagsasubstitute kasi I see change of sign when x is 2 and 3. Therefore, the root is bracketed between 2 and 3. So, meaning, kapag may nakita kayong sign change, meaning sa gitna nila, or sa pagitan ng dalawang values ng x na yun, doon nakalocate yung root natin. So, tama naman, kasi yung 2.7065 is in between ng 2 and 3. So, dyan siya nagkaroon ng change sign. So, ito yung graphical representation. Yung xl natin, or yung lower uh, boundary is 2 and yung upper boundary is 3 so ito yung search region natin so itong x above, yan yung midpoint ng dalawang uh, boundaries so hanapin natin yung value ng boundaries na yan at i-substitute natin sa function and kung ano yung sign ng midpoint na yun is ilalagay natin dito sa question mark so para masolve itong x o or x sub 0, ito yung formula na x sub n equals x sub l plus x sub u over 2 or ipa-plug lang natin yung nakuha nating data, 2 plus 3 divided by 2, yung x sub 0 natin is 2.5. So, yan yung midpoint ng dalawang boundaries. At kapag isinubstitute natin yung 2.5 sa function, makukuha natin ang sagot is negative 3.375. So, notice na yung sign niya is negative. So, ilalagay natin yan dito. So, ito na nga siya, negative. So, from larger search region, nahati siya sa dalawa. And then notice, nandito ako nag-shade kasi dito nakalocate yung root. Kasi, di, kasi dito na yung uh, sign change natin. So dito sa kaliwa, walang sign change kasi they are both negative. Ibig sabihin, wala dyan yung root. So yung root natin is in between ng negative sign and positive sign. So dito siya sa shaded area. Therefore, we conclude na yung root is bracketed between 2.5 and 3. So after this iteration, iteration number 0, so, pinila ko lang siya dito sa table na yung x sub l natin is 2, x sub u is 3, yung x sub n natin is 2.5. And then, kapag sinubstitute natin yung x sub l sa function, nakuha natin na yung f x sub l is negative 9. And then, yung upper niya, kung yung x is 3 is 6. And yung x sub n, which is negative 3.375. Now, we can proceed to iteration number 1. Additional lang pala, now na ito na yung shaded area natin, Pwede na natin palitan at iset yung 2.5 as our x sub l and yung 3 as our x sub u. So kanina kasi, ito yung x sub l natin which is 2. Now na, hindi ito kabilang. So therefore, we set 2.5 as the new x sub l. So for iteration number 1, we have x sub l equals 2.5 and x sub u equals 3. So solving for x sub n, so yung formula na x sub n is yung kanina lang din, x sub n equals x sub l plus x sub u. That is all over 2. So, yung x sub l natin is 2.5. Yung x sub u natin is 3. So, divide natin yun by 2. Yung x sub 1 natin is 2.75. x sub 1 means yan yung midpoint ng dalawang boundary for iteration number 1. So, as we substitute 2.75 sa function, nakuha natin na yung sagot is positive 0 0.7969. And as you can see, positive siya. And from... 2.5 to 3 na original for iteration number 1 nahati siya ng 2.75 so as you notice sa dito portion they are both positive therefore wala dito sa area na to yung root kundi dito siya sa kabila kasi there is negative and positive na merong sign change na nangyari between 2.5 and 2.75 therefore we conclude na yung root is bracketed between 2.5 and 2.75 so we erase 3 as our upper limit now we set 2.75 as our upper limit in the next iteration. But first, kailangan mo natin i-fill up yung data na nakuha natin sa iteration number 1 doon sa table. 
So, ito na siya guys. So, yung value, so yung 2.5 na yung XL natin and 3. So, yung value lang nila dito is pareho lang. So, ito mapupunta na dito and yung 6 remain kasi yung 3 remain lang din. And then yung 2.75, ito yung value niya sa function. So, sinubstitute natin siya dito. Now, now for iteration number 2, yung X sub L natin sa taas. From, yung X sub L natin from iteration number 1 is 2.5 and yung upper na from 3 naging 2.75. Okay, so solving for x sub n. So, ganun formula lang din. Kuha natin na x sub 2 or yung midpoint ng boundary for iteration number 2 is 2.625. At kapag sinubstitute natin yung 2.625 sa function, sa ditong function, kuha natin na yung value is negative 1.412. So, ito na siya negative. And as you can see, from 2.5 to 2.625, there is no sign change. Therefore, wala dito yung root. And as you notice naman sa kabila, from 2.625 to 2.75, there is sign change between those uh, initial values. Kaya, dito yung possible location ng root natin. Therefore, we conclude na yung root is bracketed between 2.625 and 2.75. So, ipa-plug natin sa table for alteration number 2. Yung x sub l natin is 2.5. Yung x sub u natin is 2.75. Yung x sub n natin is 2.65. And yung value nito substitute na yung 2.5 sa function, ito yung sagot, yung 2.65 sa function, which is ito yung sagot, and yung 2.75 substitute mo dito sa function, ito yung makukuha natin yung sagot. Now, we can proceed to iteration number 3. Now, sa iteration number 3, yung XL natin is 2.65 and yung upper is 2.75. Now, kung hindi mo pa alam kung bakit ito na yung naging XL and XV natin, so dito po sila yan galing sa panibagong uh, so sa naunang iteration natin so yung x sub 2 magiging new x sub l kasi hindi na, hindi na include yung 2.5 therefore siya na yung magiging panibagong x sub l natin and yung x sub u will remain na 2.75 so yung midpoint nila or also known as x sub 3 is 2.6875 so substitute natin to sa function na it is equals to negative 0.339 and kung ilalagay natin yan sa graphical representation, ito na siya. So, it is negative yung x sub 3 and to up to x sub u. Therefore, hindi na kabilang yung portion na to kasi they are both negative. While sa kabila, there is sign change. Therefore, ito na yung magiging panibagong x sub l natin. Kasi, 2.625 is, I mean, 2.625 to 2.686, 2.6875 lang root dyan. Okay, so somehow, somehow dito naman sa kabila, from 2.6875 up to 2.75, nandyan, nandyan sa search region na yan yung root natin. Okay, so therefore, ito na yung magiging panibagong x sub l natin, and yung x sub u will remain. So, ito pa pala, the root is bracketed between 2.6875 and 2.75. So, it will up lang natin yung x sub 3 sa ating table. So, okay, ito na siya. Yung x sub l natin for iteration number 3 is 2.625. Yung x sub u, 2.75. Yung x sub n is 2.6875. Yung value ng x sub n natin is negative 3, negative 0 0.339. So, yung mga values lang nito, so ito, ito, magiging copy lang natin dyan. And yung ito, raise the main. Now, proceed tayo sa iteration number 4. So, yung iteration number 4 natin, hanggang sa iteration number 9 is sa next video na lang. So, uh, ilalagay ko na lang sa comment section or sa description box. So, thank you for watching. See you sa continuation nito guys.